All right, welcome back to Realm of the Mad God. I figured uh, after Fino Alanine's summoner didn't go too far, I figured I would hop back onto this account and give it a shot. Uh, there's currently an O3 event going on, and I've got a different character running, a um, uh, paladin, uh, an all dungeon order. But I figured uh, if there's ever a time to get started on a character, it would be during one of the most valuable events in the game. Uh, so we'll give it a shot. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I like Summoner as a class. Um, we're going to probably go f try to fully exalt. Uh, there's really nothing stopping me from doing that besides, I don't know, if I ego check a patience in the hard mode shatters. Uh, everything else should be fine unless we make a really shitty mistake. Uh, I'm down for this to be a bit longer of a series. Uh, I only really plan for the dungeon order experience to uh, take me up to the last one, the Woodland Labyrinth. Um, which means that'll probably end uh, sometime in the next two weeks. Uh, but this could go on for a bit longer. I'm debating on when I want to upload this. It's the first day of the O3 event. Um, and I don't really like having multiple things running at once. Uh, this is pretty much like the first time I've done it in years. Uh, with the exception of the Night PB, but that became a background project as soon as I uploaded Part 1, which Part 2 of that is out. Uh, we did finish it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of it for that character. Um, but yeah, uh, the dungeon order, uh, <laughs> that's going to burn me out fast. Uh, I'm still kind of working through it. I'm only on a Darien Reef, so <laughs> I haven't really <laughs> done much with it. I haven't been on for the past, like, two days because I needed a break. Um, yeah, but this could be, uh, this will probably be a bit more of an active character, uh, I mean, I'm just playing a normal PPE, so uh, I should be fine, you know, to not get burnt out on it. Uh, obviously, there may be little uh, gaps, but uh, that just depends on my availability with school. But um, as semester started, it's okay. You know, I'm kind of getting to the groove of things. Uh, and yeah, uh, we mentioned it in the Dungeon Order experience video, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. But I have a lot more spare time because I left a research lab that would have uh, been taking up a lot of my time. I just figured I'd do it for my health. Uh, so we have more time for really stupid shit like this. So that's great. Um, 28 remaining. I'm in U.S. West. I normally am. Uh, I'm going to probably switch to East too. Um, just because uh, there's more uh, realms there. Uh, it's more likely for closing realms. Uh, Summoner has a pretty bad speed roll off the start. Okay, well, I'm going to go. Uh, East 2's been crashing a bit, though. At least it was a couple days ago. Um, let me check. We're not seasonal. I don't gain anything from any of it. Um, at least I don't want to, anyways. Um, I'm not going to pop that. Uh, we have some loot boost here. Honestly, I talk about it a bit. I end up hemorrhaging loot boost. Uh, do I have any in here? Probably not. No. Uh, I, I I use it on characters, even if they don't get it, I'm pretty non-discriminate about it. Uh, mainly because I'm going to end up doing so many O3s anyways that, you know, whatever. Uh, any of these good? I guess I'll go Chimera. Uh, yeah. I, our goal, really, with an O3 event PP is to get a ring, a health ring of any sort, as fast as possible. Uh, the best source of that is Highlands. Um that you're pretty likely to get a T3 HP ring, and we have some pretty good uh, clearing ability. So we can kind of cross our fingers for that. Our speed roll, there's pretty much nothing to be done about that. If he chases after us, if we get crumple, or gay, or fate, sorry, uh, we're pretty much dead. Unless we get lucky, or it's the end of the phase. Uh, but other than that, we can kind of just settle in, pray for a good roll. Um, it's pretty annoying to max your character during an O3 event, especially like Summoner, that... I think requires a bit more stats. I can't really remember from Fino Alanine. And that was the last time I played Summoner since its original release, which was a rather good PPE that I couldn't upload because I lost my Vesture clip. So, uh, or Lumiere, one of the two. I lost a clip of something valuable and I just decided to delete it. Um, we gain a lot from Shatters. Uh, if you don't know how I do, how I decide my characters is I open up a DPS calculator and I just look for what set I would like. Um, and for Summoner, uh, probably Dusky Catalyst, Peacekeeper, uh, Mantle Chrysalis, maybe? I don't think we're going to get a Chrysalis. Uh, I'm pretty out of practice with hard modes. 
Um, I prefer mantle, uh, just visually. I think it looks nice. The full shatter set goes well together, but um, obviously, I, can't, I wouldn't really complain if I got any of the end game robes. Besides, probably Ancient Intellect, the T15. I don't like ending characters, I guess with the exception of the T15 leather Leviathan armor. I don't really like ending with a... What the fuck? <laughs> a T15. I, I really don't. Um, that's just a me thing. I prefer to end with any sort of UT. So, Gladiator Guard, Curious, uh, Mercy's Bane, and then for this, any one of the... Ooh, nice. Okay. I guess really any of the end game robes would be fine. Uh, Diplo, Vesture, or Mantle being the uh, ideal ones. Water robe, but we're not going to be doing LODs, uh, so I don't really ever consider that. A uh, friend of mine is going to get on Cameron. He'll be on. Uh, I should probably go text him, let him know that I'm here. But uh, yeah, we're going to probably do one or two O3s for this. Um, I'm just kind of getting situated, getting back into you know, talking you know, like real people do. But, uh, yeah, the early game should be fine. We can probably run some Sprite Worlds for, uh... Oh, cute. Will's on, too. We can probably run some Sprite Worlds for the Mace. That one's pretty good. But, uh, I'll go talk to him. Yeah, I like talking to Will. Solid dude. Uh, yeah, Sprite Mace would be fine, but we're probably just gonna end up doing a straight shot for O3s, just because that's kind of how it goes. If there's an event going on, I'm not going to, like, not capitalize on it. Uh, I know how to do O3s, so why wouldn't I? It's a bit of an unrealistic start to character, um, unless you're, like, really endgame. Uh, and I, I have characters where I do O3s super early, but uh, if if they're not up, then obviously you can't do them. Uh, but there, there's pretty much like nothing else like starting a character during an O3 event. So if this is your guide, if you want to call it that, if you want to use this guide, uh, it's a bit unrealistic just because you're not going to ever have this much access to O3s. Uh, and more importantly, you're not going to end with so few people. O3 guarantees we can't. Dude, uh, I'll do it. Fuck it. O3 guarantees a one of each top, a 14, 7, 15, 6. Uh, and the advantage of doing smaller runs is naturally you are more likely to get those items. Uh, so starting during an O3 event is also hugely advantageous for that. Uh, you're just more likely to get it. He's going the wrong way. Um, so if you're thinking about getting into PPEs, if you want more items and you have a semi-decent knowledge of O3, passable, now would be a good time to do them, uh, just because this is a good way to like stockpile items. Um, I'm going to need the TP. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what Cameron's doing. He's trying to do either Knight or Paladin. I don't really know which one he's on. He's kind of having a bit of poor luck with it. But uh, if he gets through a couple of them and he gets a good character, I'm, I told him I'd edit him a video. Uh, so maybe in like two weeks you'll see a community post being like, hey, check out my friend's video. Um, so keep you guys posted. So like I said earlier, our goal for now, we're just going to kind of orbit Highlands. Um, if we're lucky enough, we could do a mana or two for Holy Water. Uh, that would be useful if we got Chancellor Dama, just for Miasma. Um, Bezo would be pretty bad, obviously, because we don't technically gain anything from it besides Banner. But uh, also, our speed's pretty low, and if we uh, at the end of the fight, there's a likelihood that he rolls us over. Um, but probably not. Okay, we're going to probably start gathering um, health pots in our inventory. It's just nice to have, and it's not like we're putting anything else there. Uh, it's just kind of a good business practice. I don't normally take Ikers, if you're wondering about that spider den. Um, I gotta make a frequently asked questions page, that's a total joke, but uh, I don't often rotate my screen, by the way. For those asking, I've had, you know, the new influx of people asking. Uh, I used to lead full skip voids in pub halls, and I wasn't the greatest at it. I actually, I just didn't really have that much practice with it. Uh, but it's just kind of become instilled. It's uh, I don't really rotate my screen because it's good to keep yourself. Uh, I get it's good to just kind of know where you are to keep yourself centered. Um, I do have some exceptions like Treasure Gemsbach. I'll rotate my screen 45 degrees because we're bottom left. Um, 
during like the cheap Beza clear. I I do for or not Beza, uh, Gemsbach. I will for some of it. Um, but yeah, generally I like to keep my screen centered. It's just a personal preference. Uh, I get too disoriented um, by it, and whenever I have friends share their screen, if I'm teaching them like shatters or something, it's super weird for me then too. Uh, so that's that's just me, you know, my personal preference on the game. Which I know it's it's scary when people have personal preferences that don't align with your own. Um, it's okay, you know, take a deep breath or something. I don't know. Oh fuck, we're gonna get lasered. But uh, yeah, we're doing okay. We have enough right now, like our equipment and everything, to at least survive 03. And we're likely going to get something because we have uh, the T3 mace. So that's pretty much all we can ask for now. Uh, I'm still going to... Maybe we get a frost elementist? No. Still going to probably complain. But uh, the nice part about an 03 event, it's pretty difficult to complain about not getting items from these. We're going to probably try and get through maybe five oh threes in this episode uh i'll stop talking here in a second we've only really been just been 12 minutes maximum of recording time so it's probably closer to 10 minutes of footage at this point maybe i'd have to wager i guess probably dead wrong but uh yeah we'll kind of settle into our our mojo here and uh get this over with our th realms on 32 rem holy fuck never mind that was a huge mistake uh i'm gonna switch <laughs> So we don't gain anything from keep... Or we do gain something from that. Where is it? Which one? There. <laughs> please, please. It did it once. Do it again. Give me the mace. <laughs> I really fucking like the crystal mace. Holy shit. That made that character so fun. I don't think we're going to get it, but... Uh, I really... That's the first time I've ever used the crystal mace, and I had a lot of fun. I try not to. If you're... This is going to bother me, too. So before anyone comments on it... Uh, I, ch I don't like when my mouse hovers over bags. It kind of ruins the surprise. So a lot of the time my summons are going to be slightly off from where they should be. Uh, I don't really like it either. I could just disable hovering over bags. I think there's a setting for that. I know there's one to hold control, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to end up doing this because I hate myself apparently. Alright, we're here level 20. 15, 15 life to max. 11 sp oh, 26 speed is honestly... It's a high max, but 35 is a lot more than I expected. 32 dex is a hate crime, but uh, 22 vits okay, whiz is pretty bad. Okay, it's manageable, we can 8-8. And we already have, uh, what are we? 210, lower than I would like, but um, we can, we'll be fine. So we're just gonna kinda put our head down now. Uh, we'll try and get through about 503s this episode. I'll probably bust out loot boost for the next couple ones. I'm gonna probably actually go grab one after this thing dies. Oh shit, nice. I got a T8 wand. That's soulbound right there. I guess more soulbound. Soulbound squared, if you will. Pop my loot boost to the wine cellar. I just got a white from 01. Oh, that's fun. I got nothing else. Do I want to keep this? You you can hang out right there. Bye. I probably could have. I have the vault space for it, but fuck it. Oh, fuck. It is a Dama. Okay, 684 health, 35 speed. Should be fine. We're not going to get anything, because I don't get anything from Dama, ever. But we'll cross our fingers for a Diplomatic or a Cryodium. All right, Dama shouldn't be too bad. 41 people. Dama's good, because, and this is about as elitist as I'll get, it fucking cleaves your group. Um, I'm not going to rotate with this, because I'm scared. I'm not. I'm just lazy. Uh, we have 40 people. Uh, the difficult thing about public O3s, and this is, like, I've done every single one of them since the release. Maybe not the first one. I don't remember. Th the mini boss is, in my opinion, harder than the O3 because you have newer players who don't have as much experience. And it, I don't know. Here's how, not when it's Gemsbach. Have you had a bad experience with Gemsbach today? <laughs> I've had a bad experience with Gemsbach everywhere, every day. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's more than just today. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, you're right, actually. But I don't know. So in my head, like, obviously, there are always going to be newer players to things like this. And this is my mentality on it. It's people who say, oh, they're bad players. I disagree. You're not. And I think I've told every single one of you urchins this for shatters. You're not bad. You're inexperienced. You don't know what you're doing because you haven't done it before. So, like, when TQ, when you got nay-nay to patience, 
<laughs> like it, it's fine. I got an A&A to patience. I used like I think twelve health pots the first shatters I ever completed. The more of them you do, you're just going to organically get better at them. And now you know I like slouch in my chair for shatters. If you told me even for hard modes, I've gotten pretty okay at them. And I'm not sweaty enough to like actively go for chrysalis unless I'm sure I'm want to waste my time. Are we gonna PVP now? Um, I don't know. Uh, yes. I don't. Or no, stagger is the word I was looking for. But um. I don't know. It, it It's just about practice and experience. And these events, by the way, if you're looking into it, uh, Warrior. Play Warrior. And if you have the fame for it, buy Old Tops, the 11-4, uh, or 11-5, 11-5, if you want. Anything around there. From either the Bazaar or from the Wizard Guy, there's that tab that says Equipment. If you go to the, the second to last or third to last page on it, you can buy... That was nearly hitless. Nice. Um... Buy Wait, equipment, you can warrior buy old equipment. Tops from him? Yeah, I I told you guys about that. I told you guys you could buy equipment I know, from him. I knew you could do it from the bazaar. I didn't know you could do it from him. That's pretty All right, cool. Little urchin boy. Anyways, on warrior, and then just come in with like an inventory full of health pots from guild hall and die on repeat until <laughs> until you get it right. Um, that's how my guild did. I was a little different. I did it through like three or four different PPEs. I just did warrior PPEs for like a month. All right, first mini boss of the character. We got a T6. It's a one in eighteen. Throw your bets in, boys. T6 star. T6 star. Actually, no, it's a poison. It's a poison. It's a it's walkie. Poison. You were pretty close the first time. Oh, uh, the star was close. Look I here, love yeah. popping loot boost for this. It's my favorite thing. I'm gonna peel my skin. Oh fuck! Get out of here! <laughs> you fucking ran me over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so mental note: I can barely outrun pre-exalted fleeing. Uh, I think his speed stays the same. <laughs> okay, this phase, centered gaze is fucking terrifying, and control too. Those little nubbles do a, way too much damage, even pre-exalted, and exalted I think it's closer to 150. Um, dance is by far probably, I, I would say dance is the worst part of this fight. I think any relatively seasoned character... <laughs> Or a player, so I would agree that dance is probably the worst part of this fight. Hey, nice, second Celestial. I used to complain about getting one before Heavens, but uh, even if you're pre-Heavens, um, you're going to knock down to 15% health. Um, he stand When he stands up after the stagger, for those of you who don't know, he will be immune when he goes into Heavens. He'll, it's, a it's a damage cap, technically. Um... But oh, there goes Can He still plays? What the fuck? Cansonio, the fucking pub halls admin. What? Yeah, so his health turns red. As soon as his health turns red, we hit heavens, and he stands there. You normally able to damage him. That's a damage cap right there. But we still push him down to twenty percent because heavens happens at. Uh, I'm sorry, fifteen percent because heavens happens at twenty. Strike you down is pretty scary on a regular on an early character because all those shots that go backwards kind of stack up when you have piss baby nothing but it's better than others all right runs over <laughs> what are you idiots pot shot i guess no 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 no. like the runs physically over pots pots okay thanks uh, cam pots. i think you get a t7 star and a t15 road uh, again with the stars okay <laughs> Yeah. Saying you get a T14 Katana Wait. and a Leviathan. <laughs> horn and a fucking hollow language. So that could have been gas, but our what? set is cursed. <laughs> you got a horn? Oh, this character this character's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the earliest horn I've ever had. I don't normally get O3 whites, but cool, thanks. You know what's heat? I have a horn and I'm an insta kill in the wine cellar still. <laughs> I think that's the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> Oh, sweet, a better robe. A T7 robe. I'm still a one-shot, but, you know, thanks, man. Hey, look at that. Aim said I can always come to his run zero A because I... Because <laughs> I said in the fucking dungeon order experience, <laughs> do you think I could convince him to? <laughs> That's crazy. Thanks, man. That's oh, nice, Snake Eye Ring. It makes up for our lackluster speed. Hey, would you look at that? A better robe. <laughs> Up to 16 defense. <laughs> oh, white bag from a white bag from a snake pit. No way. What's that? Oh, bulwark? I am living large. <laughs> no. 
I got a fucking in. I got a wine cellar incantation from the guardians. I think that's the first time I've seen that in like. I got. I got that five was my years. I got it on this PV uh, right no, here. I'm sorry, but I got a T9 wand. First I choice, balls pop. like two days ago. I don't know. I've, I've never seen that. I'm no longer an insta kill from the blue minions. I have 20 defense and 760 health. I'm gonna live. Check this blue bag. Check it out. Why is this taking so long? I got a blue bag. I'm rotting. Uh oh. Oh, I got both pots. That's fun. Holy shit. I popped my loot boost at the wine cellar and it just ended with 49 seconds. That was the worst. Holy shit. Uh, alright. What am I getting, boys? Call it. I Red bag, you're gonna get a T7 mace. I'm still getting a blue bag, is oh, what Matt's you said. getting a T7 mace. I got a red. Okay. It's a ring. I got an orcish regalia. Fuck. <laughs> oh, white, 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 white. Wish me luck. This can be a full me. Wish me luck. This is the nice. first time I've used one of these in like two years. Oh, another white. Oh, I got another bulwark. <laughs> That's cute. I can't use it for anything, but uh, smile. Oh shit! I got ancient warning. That's nice. I think I've had this set before on a character. Uh, but oh, am I gonna load into the wine cellar? Double load? Are you guys? I'm oh, here. okay. Yeah. You guys are all good to go. Okay. Uh, it I didn't think... even say. It didn't even say failed to connect. It Existing. It oh, you're it. right. Okay. Anyways, weird. I love this game, favorite game. This is the third or three. Yeah. I'll do two more after this uh, in the episode. I don't know. I hey, think the reason. Gorgon. I think the re I think the reason Rangers bad at no iframes is because the uh, arrows and bullets disappear they, after hitting the enemy. Well, so unless you have a piercing, uh, you're not life. gonna. I I ooh maybe we should try. If I think have, like, holy arrows bullets, are okay. Uh, Meteorite bullets okay. would be good. Uh, it, it depends on how big the target is. Um, Flamethrowers would also be good. Flamethrowers oh, is good, sure. but All by right. that point you already have the. Uh, Harmonious harp or whatever it's called, and that's better. I don't know. We'll sort it out when we get there. We're on. Uh, I'm doing it in three Where parts. Now? I'll upload part one of the uh, no iframes playthrough for Terraria for Where are you right now? those interested. Live. We are just about to fight mechanical bosses. I think we got a full actually, set of titanium. I wonder, actually, I wonder how good um, whips would be if they have uh, we a talked slow about modifier that. to stay out. We, we talked about Run. that. Yeah, we didn't really know. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're ready to be. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. <laughs> My All screen, right. you're just walking through every single I line. love delay. I'm gonna live, yeah. I got a red bag. Okay, cross our fingers. It's gonna be a. What do we think it is, boys? I'm it's saying Star staff. Mother. You be a I was king. right. I got a Star Mother and a T6 loot, which is fine. I guess I'll keep the Star Mother. For well, the Emerald is kind of just better than the Star yeah, it Mother, is. though. It's, yeah, I'll keep it just to show progression if I get an Intellect or when I get an Intellect. Oh, I got a red bag. A tier 14 bow and a tier 7 What do you count? guys think I got? Another Rub Intellect. I got a Kusanagi. Rot. Oh, nice. T4 Mace. Great. My set's honestly okay. I'll take it. Oh, fuck, I got a T5 mace. Hell yeah. That's heat from a Sprite World 2. I'm coming to yours, T... Oh, or not. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, hey, T11 uh, Morningstar. Uh, fuck it, I'll take it. I hate myself enough. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is... This is terrible. <laughs> That's actually a fairly good idea. Um, oh, fuck. That's what I get for trying to talk about this in the middle of the beza. Uh, BD Wolf is suggesting that what I do is, yeah, a character where if it's usable, you have to swap it out. And so his example was it like a divinity to a T1 sword. Um, oh, well, he died. So uh, rest in spaghetti. Uh, we'll salute you. Um, that's honestly a pretty fun idea. Uh, BD Wolf Flex, was it? Yeah. Um, honestly, what, what would you call that? The on-site uh, PPE. <laughs> the on-site. Site lock PPE? The site lock experience? I don't know. A swap player experience? There you go, yeah. Honestly, that sounds like it'd be a pretty good idea because, okay, like, but, but you just, the, you, the thing is, is you just so. have to, n like, fucking no life 
Discord dungeons basically because it's the only because it's the only thing that will give you a weapon that doesn't mean you're stuck on a T6. <laughs> okay, but also but also like now that Exile dungeons give like tiered like flails and yeah. stuff. Like all, all weapons, that's gonna be worse because like you normally Ness would not give you any. It's gonna weapons, be so worse, like... but it's also almost better because well no see the problem is is with minimum requirements if you have like let's say you have a divinity, um and you get a T12 or T10 flail you now have to go back to Godlands that'd actually be a fairly fun idea. I think You'll I'll I think I'll I'll, I'll, tr but... I'll probably try it when I finish the dungeon order experience. I think I'm gonna give that a shot, uh because that sounds. It sounds terrible, but it sounds like it would still be fun because even when you're like end game, you still like don't. Ooh, with see, with your with your ability, that would be shit. What character would I like, do for it? Probably Paladin again. Well, at least I'm guaranteed to max my life from this run. I'll take it. And then next run gets me up to uh. Next run maxes my mana. Hopefully. Okay. Well, that was horrible. What are we getting? Twenty-two we... people. Twenty-two people. One of us gets a red bag. One of us gets a blue. Top yeah, it's gonna be me. Is what I said. think one of us actually one of us gets an ST bag. Uh, yeah, an ST bag. Uh, that's my favorite yeah. ST bag. Uh, blue. All right, red bag. Tier seven loot. Let's go. Well, I max my life. I'll take it. I gotta do. I'll do one more with three and then on the episode. But we're doing pretty good for now. I'm trying. I'm weighing on which one of these two looks better. I I know in my heart it's the lab robe. But for Star, Star Mother just kind of makes it look more like a PPE that you see in a random, like a Dungeoneer 03. That's what this kind of looks like to me. It looks like a character that just rolled up to a Dungeoneer 03. Is that an ST bag? It is. I got a Bloodstone ring. Hey, Cameron, you know a thing or two about Bloodstone rings, don't you? Yeah, that's kind of annoying me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm still kind dog. of annoyed at I'm still kind of pissed at that death. Yeah, that oh, sucks. So I wish you, I wish you had enough space to record your deaths. Uh, I mentioned well, this before I earlier do. on in the video that I um, have enough space. It's just I don't constantly record because it makes my game lag. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So I can, and so I like I, when I see a bag drop, I'll hover over it and see if there's anything I can use. Uh, and then and that's then how I, I used to them. record. Yeah, that's that's fucking war flashbacks to when I was like what, fifteen. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier in this video. Yeah, when I used Bandicam, when I was uh, when Cameron rolls up to the function with some godlike what Paladin PPE, and I make a community oh, yeah. post. Uh, that's just gonna be gas as fuck when you all roll up to his video, right? Smile, all of you, right? Smile. It's gonna be heat. It'll, it'll be Paladin or it'll be Knight, one of the two. Yeah, I hate I've had too. like mul I've had multiple knights get to like four eight, basically six eight. In like three days, and then just and die. They all just die in this <laughs> this fucking way, like getting insta to a cube god. That's stunned. yeah. That was a little questionable. I wish I was recording for that, but there's this clip somewhere. Yeah, of you just getting popped to a cube god after it died. I don't know. Nature hates you, buddy. Oh, st bag from Dama. That's fun. It's gonna be a harp, ain't it? How'd I know? That's crazy. <laughs> cool. Are you kidding me? I got a blue bag with f what? 17 people i max my mana though i guess that's fine um okay well there's that we are currently 2-8 and we did our 503s for the episode that was pretty good uh, i'm pretty happy with this one um i'll probably spend today's wednesday i'll probably spend thursday on this character as well do another five or ten oh threes probably ten if i'm being honest and then i'm gonna go back to the um i'll go back to this paladin um, spoilers, haha. <laughs> uh, actually, I'll probably end up uploading these all together. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I don't, I didn't really have any plan for how I was gonna upload. And I just finished a campaign. Cool. I didn't really have any plans for how I was gonna upload these. I think I'm just gonna probably run, uh, both series at the same time because I end this, uh, Paladin in the next, like, two weeks, I think, or a week or so. And then this character could go on for a couple months if I'm lucky. But yeah, thank you guys for coming. Uh, solid first episode. I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm having fun. I really, I, I like Summoner. Uh, I can't really, I, I crack three million death fame. I, with my knight, I can only assume. Uh, that's the only real character I've had on this account. But uh, where am I? While we wrap this episode, where up? Uh, where am I for top fame? Let's go look. I think last I checked, I was like sixteen. I am down to eight. I am number eight in the world for account fame. Um, if you're wondering how. 
uh, I've had a max divine for a while. It's free to play. Um, and almost all of my fame on this account comes from like five or six really good characters. And then I don't use fame. So this is after I think about four years of me just not really using fame. Um, and now I'm just I'm just a hoarder. Like I won't spend fame on anything. I'm so I'm like I I just want to I don't I want to see how high I can get. You know, it's kind of just a fun little thing to have. But yeah, thank you guys for coming. Uh, I'm gonna go fucking. It's ten thirty. I'm gonna go shower. I might go do another. I might start. I'll start episode two. I'll start episode two after this. Why not? Um, thank you guys. It's uh, it's been real. It's been fun. And uh, I'll see you all later.